Welcome back to Top Repairs. If you notice your engine is misfiring or your engine is running poorly or you notice rough idle and you know the ignition is going to be the issue, which part should you replace? The spark plug or the ignition coil or maybe both? Before you do anything, always make sure that the connector on the ignition coil is not loose and make sure it is not damaged and make sure the tab is not damage also make sure to check the wire on it because that wire can become cracked and it can cause an open circuit next remove one ignition coil on each bank and if you see engine oil on the ignition coil and you see engine oil on the inside of the ignition coil then the ignition coil at the spark plug is not going to be the issue so the problem is going to be caused by a bad spark plug tube seal that's going to be on the valve cover so don't replace the ignition coil and the spark plug make sure to change this part first next inspect the condition of the ignition coil make sure the ignition coil boot is not cracked and make sure the top part is not cracked as well and if you see spark coming out of it and if you see it arcing and you hear a crackling noise and that's how you know the ignition coil is going to be bad the quickest way to check if the ignition coil is cracked is to use a spray bottle and spray water on it again if you hear a crackling noise and you see the the uh, ignition coil starting to arc that's how you know it is going to be bad next get a incandescent test light and we're going to check the spark intensity on the ignition coil so take the test light and connect it to ground and next you want to start your vehicle remove the ignition coil and keep the connector on next hold the uh, test light about half an inch away or maybe three quarters of an inch and if you see a bright blue spark arcing across that's how you know the ignition coil is going to be very good now if you see a faint orange or reddish spark and you see the spark is extremely weak and you hear the noise the uh, crackling noise is extremely weak that's how you know the ignition coil is failing and you should replace it now let's check the spark plug first thing first make sure there's no engine oil on it and make sure the ignition coil is seated directly on the spark plug and make sure there is a good connection because I have seen this many times where the ignition coil is not bolted down all the way and there's going to be a loose connection. Next, make sure the spark plug tip or the electrode part is not fouled out. If you see gasoline all over on the thread of the spark plug and gasoline on the electrode, then make sure to dry out that spark plug first before changing that spark plug because if the ignition coil is bad it's going to cause the spark plug to foul out and again that spark plug is not going to be the issue next take a good look at the spark plug tip if you see that tip is covered in black suit or a lot of carbon on it it means that engine is running too rich and if the engine is running too rich and there's a buildup of black suits on it. It can cause that spark plug to start to somewhat fall out and it will create a weak spark. And of course, if you see oil on the tip on the spark plug and you don't see engine oil on the ceramic part of the spark plugs, it means that the um, piston rings might be worn and it is causing the spark plug to fall out. Next, inspect the electrode on the spark plug. If the electrode is worn out, and if you look at this one carefully, you can see that it's kind of going at a slight angle, and that's how you know the electrode is going to be the issue. Next, you want to check the spark intensity. Make sure that spark plug is still on the ignition coil, and make sure the connector is on the ignition coil. Next, start your engine. Take the spark plug and put it against ground. Ground is going to be somewhere on the engine. That's going to be the best spot to do it. And look at the spark 
color. If that spark is bright blue and you hear a strong sparking sound, then you know the spark plug is going to be good. Now, if the spark is orange color or faint orange color, and that's how you know it is going to be weak spark, and that's how you know it is time to change that spark plug. I hope you found that video useful. As always, thank you for watching and subscribe to Top 5 Auto Repairs.